What's up to my friends on YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you how to enable or disable the beta version on the Fidelity app. This is actually a fairly new feature that they added within the app, and it makes it a lot more user-friendly to operate, and it's a lot more appealing to the eye. And I think Fidelity is doing this to try to reach a bit of a more broad audience with their app and have some new investors as well flowing into their app, as well as the veterans that they've always had as their clients. So obviously, you're just going to open up your Fidelity app. And when you open it, you're going to be taking to this kind of weird screen right here. But if you hit the bottom right corner, there's going to be a more button with the three little dots there on the bottom right hand corner. I purposely turned the beta version off for this video, but you could see right at the top of the screen there that there is a little lever there where you could hit the beta option. And what it's going to do is it's going to log you out and log you back in just so it can refresh how the app looks. And now you could see that when you're in the Fidelity app, it is a completely different outlook from what you had before and it's a lot more user friendly like i said with all the little logos for the different companies and then of course the graphs where you could see how your stocks are doing and all that stuff and there's also a bunch of different other stuff that you could really play around with in the app and like i said overall it really makes it just a lot more user friendly for you to really learn about your investments and actually be excited to invest rather than it being a confusing process with fees and all that stuff and you could also see that there's like the little eye icon to get some info on the beta version next to it if you're curious on everything that you could do with this beta version it kind of just tells you exactly what i already went over but if you want to see some more information you could obviously just click that i when you're in the app and get some more information on this beta version i'm sure there's going to be a lot more stuff that they add to this as time goes on this is just the beta version obviously and they're going to be adding more stuff to make it even more user friendly it seems like every time i log on to this app there is something that has changed so i'm sure they're going to make it even better and i hope that they could use this to prove to everybody that they are really the best brokerage that you could choose that's really all I have for you today, though, kind of explaining how to enable and disable and exactly what you could do in the beta version of Fidelity. If you did have any questions or were confused about anything that I said in this video, comment them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you found this helpful today, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.